This 80-year-old hydropower plant in Toledo Valley in West Sumatra was not in operation for a long time, from 1995 till 2007. My Climate, a non-profit foundation selling carbon offsets, has supported the restoration of Salido Kessel Mini Hydropower Plant. Micro hydropower is gentle to the environment and can be used to replace the fossil fuels in rural areas. Saya jual anu dengan PLN sampai PLN memutuskan tidak mau beli lagi tahun 95. Tapi nyatanya itu mereka itu sering diportal masyarakat juga sebentar mati sebentar mati ya. The government electricity company PLN started to buy cheaper electricity from diesel power plants. At that time it was not economically viable to run the micro hydro. Until 2002, the diesel was heavily subsidized in Indonesia. Now the demand for hydropower is increasing. It really started to change, firstly with the introdu introduction of the small private power producer, renewable energy uh, producer program, which was introduced by the Indonesian government in 2002. And at around the same time, following the economic crisis experienced in the late 90s, uh, the government started to apply a policy of reduction of subsidies, primarily on diesel fuel. So those two factors uh, combined to start to create a more conducive environment for investment in renewable energy projects. PT Entec renovates the Salido Kessel mini hydropower plant. In 2006, the restoration of the plant started and lasted for one and a half years. The first out of three turbines was restored. Selama pekerjaan satu setengah tahun kita di sini dari PT Entec memperkerjakan orang lokal sebanyak 20 orang ya, 20 orang. Tapi kadang-kadang kita bisa tambah sampai 30 orang. Pekerjaan sipil, pekerjaan elektrikal pekerjaan mekanikal. Nah, kita di sini uh, proses untuk pekerjaan mekanikal tidak bisa dilaksanakan di Sumatera Barat ya. Karena ya mungkin karena Sumatera Barat ini adalah kota budaya ya, bukan industri. Jadi, kita lebih cenderung uh, ini setelah direnovasi uh, semua peralatan turbin yang ada sekarang kita perbaiki prosesnya di Bandung. We don't need uh, sophisticated equipment uh, with this uh, simple uh, machining. We can uh, make uh, turbine uh, for this uh, generate uh, renewable energy. Yeah, actually uh, we start since uh, 94 uh, uh, before this uh, booming of hydropower. So roughly uh, our years uh, we produce only five to maximum six. And uh, since uh, three years ago, yeah, almost uh, uh, 20 to 30 uh, units uh, per year, ranging from uh, 5 kilowatts to uh, 150 kilowatts. Economically, it is reliable, and environmentally, it's sustainable. Now, Salido Kessel is once again providing power to the national grid. It contributes to increase the stability of the electricity that is supplied to people by the grid. When all three turbines are restored, it will reduce around 4,000 tons of CO2 per year. Every hour we can produce 330 kilowatt hours, which is the energy uh, amount. Yeah? And this, to produce with a diesel genset, you will need about, uh, for three kilowatt hours, you will need one liter of fuel. So actually this uh, power plant is producing, we can say producing every hour, 110 liters of fuel by avoiding it uh, in other power plants. Huh? Every day this power plant uh, uh, avoiding about 2,600 liters of fuel and the production of three days is one tank uh, lorry. Micro hydropower can be installed in rural areas and be maintained locally. It is an increasingly popular source of energy in Indonesia and is used both by micro-enterprises and larger enterprises. Renewable energy depends upon investments and commitment. 
There is a huge potential of micro hydro, but for that, financial support is needed. If properly supplied, energy makes life easier, empowers people, and contributes to economic development.